Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday. It is the Earth Master out here about 11.18 a.m. California time, October 21st, 2024 is the date. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows, uh, well, a whole bunch of swarming out there across the uh, southern edge here of the Philippines. Latest quake here on the globe, a 1.0 across California. So a little bit of movement stirring up out here so far on this Monday, 2.2, underneath the Lake Almanor area. We had another earthquake down there this morning, a 2.5, but the latest, a 2.2 in this area. Uh, as far as anything major going on here across Southern California since last night, uh, let's go ahead and check out the 2.5 map and above. Pretty much all these here from yesterday had a, um, a little bit of uptick going on here off the coast of the Los Angeles area, also up here along the San Andreas Fault. Uh, nothing above 2.5 today in this area, mostly smaller microquake movement uh, with the latest one here across the San Bernardino Mountain area. That's off of the um, couple different fault systems here that sit on the North American side of the plate boundary. Still quite strained out here. Obviously, these little earthquakes give us a good indicator of the strain that's building out along the plate boundary here. No big earthquake activity yet, but as always, we want to be on guard for some larger scale potential. There's that movement off the coast there of Southern California from yesterday. Had a couple threes in there, the largest at 3.6 in that little cluster there off the coast of Oceanside. Through the uh, Pacific Northwest here. Let's see what we got. A couple smaller quakes out there today. Really nothing big going on. Nothing above 2.5 and above. Mostly uh, on the light side, so to speak. Uh, across the rest of the area. Yellowstone National Park. Nothing showing up here. But let's just give a quick glance here. Make sure we got everything covered. Which uh, shows a whole lot of nothingness out here. Not seeing uh, too much earthquake activity from what I can see here. This earthquake, it looks like a distant earthquake there from yesterday. I'm betting that's going to be, let's see here, which where was a large earthquake at yesterday? 5.8? No, it had to have been early in the morning sometime. I don't know, kind of interesting out here. Look at this uh, reading showed up on Maple Creek, Parker Peak. Hard to say exactly where that was at, but uh, i only seen it showing up there on a couple different seismograph stations, Lake Butte as well, Promontory, just about 24 hours ago. So um, there was nothing big around here, so I don't know exactly where that was at, but picking up a distant quake somewhere. Uh, but aside from that, as you can see, not a whole lot of seismic activity stirring up out here today. And that is the current time. Sometimes these charts out here get offline, go offline, but uh, these look fairly current. Uh, moving on past Yellowstone, where there's not a whole lot going on right now. Texas and oil, uh, oil fields out here in Texas and uh, Oklahoma. Most of these here from uh, yesterday. In fact, uh, I'm not seeing anything here. Well, let's see. Bring the help if I did that. A couple of smaller earthquakes today so far. Looks like three of them. But generally light conditions out there today. As uh, far as any movement overnight goes, uh, late last night, got a five-pointer out there in the uh, Aleutian Trench area. Getting close over here to the Kuro Kamchatka area. Where... Um, Handful of earthquakes struck yesterday. The latest, though, is going to be a 4.6 into the southern end here of that trench, that subduction zone. Uh, 4.6 at 73 miles deep here underneath this area. Uh, now, the swarming region that we're seeing on the Earthquake 3D globe is actually, yeah, it's a little south here of the Philippines near the Maluka Sea, where, um, goodness, that's a lot of earthquake activity stirring up. Uh, the largest so far looks to be that 5.8. Secondary 5.7 in this region, so looks like something big may be brewing out here in this area. A lot of it from yesterday, but today we had a, uh, a couple more earthquakes in that same region. Uh, a couple five-pointers in a more recent 4.6 in this area, so keep an eye on it. Uh, definitely showing some elevated seismic activity here with a, a swarm of movement, as you can see there. 
stacking up on the earthquake 3D globe. New Zealand, not so much going on down here. 3.8 just south here of the South Island area along the plate boundary. Aside from that, generally smaller microquake activity uh, in this in that area today. Uh, on the globe here, <coughs> excuse me, on the globe, there's a little bit of movement here into the Baja California area with a couple of threes stirring in here just south of the border. Nothing showing up here on the USGS map within this area. So that tells me right there that things, you know, have been on a broad scale type of movement out here in the last 24 hours. I mean, if we were to add those couple quakes out here, and throw in yesterday's earthquakes, we had a pretty decent amount of uptick here across the West Coast in the last 24 hours, pretty much from Southern California, Baja, all the way up through the San Andreas Fault, even some movement up into Northern California as well. So somewhat elevated conditions prevailing out here today. What do we got here for the uh, Middle America Trench? Calming down out here, not too much activity stirring up there today. South America area, some movement from yesterday with that 5.7 earthquake at uh, 1559 underneath the Argentina area. Not a whole lot further to report there in that region. Big island of Hawaii, scattered activity out here. Really nothing of any major interest showing. Latest of 1.8. Uh, let's see here. We got one more earthquake coming in here as we're speaking to the uh, Bakersfield area. This is a region that had the five pointer a few weeks back here, along with some swarming. And normally, when this kicks up, we start seeing other areas out here uh, showing some movement as well, such as the Puente Hills Rust Fault, maybe even Malibu area. So we'll keep an eye on it today. Again, nothing big going on. Just. Uh, just another day down there in Southern California, it looks like. <clears throat> Excuse me, space weather activity? Well, right now things are pretty quiet on the Earth-facing side of the sun. If we look at the solar flare chart here, notice uh, a considerable uptick here in terms of background activity. That uh, is due to a sunspot area. Off on the eastern limb, that's showing quite a bit of um, magnetic complexity out there. Look at those magnetic arches across a number of regions out there on the far eastern limb. Still don't have a visual of the uh, complexity though. Not going to be these areas here. Maybe this region right here. Just barely peeking around the eastern limb. Uh, and that extends further back as well because there's at least two good sized sunspots here in this area that uh, probably going to stir things up out here over the coming days in terms of solar flare potential. Maybe even the aurora, pot uh, aurora potential if we get a CME Earth directed. Right now, CME activity, <clears throat> aurora activity, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on out here. Flare threat remains somewhat lowered. 5% chance. M flare at 40. C flare around 99% chance or so. Really nothing major going on for that until we get this active region here more into a position for the earth directed view we'll definitely keep an eye on that uh, anything major going on across the uh, severe weather department got a two percent chance for tornado activity across kansas there in the green looks like a little bit of wind and even some large hail threats to uh, watch out for today uh, nothing major going on here, as I <clears throat> as I noted. Uh, nothing uh, stirring up in the Gulf of Mexico as far as tropical development yet. Uh, there could be some indications of some development there towards the first week of November. That's a fairly strong hurricane down there, but that's a ways out. We're talking about you know a couple weeks down the road here uh, of the forecast, and these models can definitely change. But there is some type of. Uh, large tropical system out there towards the first week of November that some of the models are hinting at. West Coast area getting uh, some cooler weather which is very much appreciated here. Looks like that storm door may uh, venture open as we head into November so I definitely like that. 
Uh, aside from that, folks, I uh, hope everyone enjoys their Monday. Seismograph stations out here look pretty quiet. Got one offline, but should come, should come back if uh, hopefully they come back here. It's a station out in Washington, Washington State that uh, monitors the activity out there. But aside from that, things pretty quiet out there, folks. In terms of large scale potential, large scale movement right now, but there's always potential, right? A lot of stuff built up out here recently. In the last couple hundred years, Southern California, one of them for sure. Got some deeper activity there into the Tonga Trench once again today. 4.5, super deep quake. All right, we'll see how this Monday goes, the 21st. It seems like a lot of things happen on the 21st. There's definitely some... Uh, some magic in the numbers out there. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening. Unless something major happens, that is. Enjoy your Monday.